Docker is a popular containerization platform that enables developers to create and manage containers in a consistent and efficient way. One of the essential tasks for developers working with Docker is to list all running containers. In this video, we'll walk through how to list all running containers in Docker using both the command line and the Docker extension for Visual Studio Code or VS Code. Listing all running containers using the command line is a simple process. First, open a terminal window on your machine or you can use VS Code. Run the following command. Docker PS. This command will display all the running containers on your machine along with additional details such as their names, IDs, image names, status, and ports. If you want to display all containers, including stopped containers, use the A option. This command will display all containers on your machine, both running and stopped, along with additional details such as the command used to start the container, the time it was created, and the amount of disk space that it's using. You can also use other command options to customize the output of the Docker PS command. The Q option displays only the container IDs. The N option specifies the number of containers to display. And the S option displays the total file size of all containers. If you prefer to use a graphical interface, you can use the Docker extension for VS Code to list all running containers. To do this, follow these steps. First, you want to install the Docker extension for VS Code if you haven't already done so. Click on the Docker extension in the toolbar and expand containers. You should see a list of all of the running containers in the Docker Explorer panel on the left hand side of the VS Code window. You can click on any container in the list to see more details about it such as name, ID, image status, and ports. You can also stop or remove containers directly from the Docker Explorer panel. If you're struggling with Docker errors, check out my Pluralsight course, Tactics and Tools for Troubleshooting Docker. This course provides developers with the skills they need to troubleshoot and fix the most common Docker errors. By the end of this course, you will have the skills that you need to reduce the time it takes you to assess and fix issues. Visit hofstech.com slash troubleshooting docker to get started with a free trial today. What questions do you have about Docker? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.